Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 13 of our Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness playthrough. I paused a bit there because 13 is generally associated with unluckiness. Let's hope we can break that record of just whatever and get through this without any losses, even though in the last episode... Was it the last episode? I think it was. No, maybe two episodes back. Anyway, some of our Pokemon are kind of close to getting knocked out permanently. They have taken three of their four allowed injuries before permanent boxing in the PC. Of course, we're doing some sort of uh, alternate Nuzlocke rules for this game in which four knockouts, and I can't use the Pokemon anymore, and I also can't heal mid-battle, so i got to be careful with that. But we are once again continuing our battling against the Cypher base here, the lab in the middle of the desert in the Ore region. Cindy has an item. Let's grab that. What do you got, girl? Hyper Potion. A little excessive right now, but I will take that. Healing is always nice. So let's start off with our team recap, as always. First up, we have Whoopi at level 17, our naughty Poochiena. She has the runaway ability, almost at the next level, too. And, yep, as you see to the left, she's got three injuries. I have updated, those since I went back outside, bought Pokeballs, went to the PC, and added the markings. Bite, Poison Fang, Dig, and Heal Bell for the moves. Next, we have our three injured, thrice injured, I guess I should say, Cindy, the level 18, Lax, Teddy Ursa. She has Pickup, as you just saw. Moves are Return, Metal Claw, Lick, and Refresh. Next, we have our first evolution. Evolution of our shadow Pokemon here in the playthrough. Our modest Mead, the level 18 Ledian now, still has the swarm ability, boosting bug moves at low HP, and the moves are Aerial Ace, Psy Beam, Supersonic, and Refresh. Not a single bug move among them. But next we have our most recent addition to the active team, Gullet, our level 20 Gulpin. Nature is quirky. The Liquid Ooze ability, pro or causing damage to opposing Pokemon that drain energy away. We got the moves of Sludge, Shockwave, Sing, and Toxic. Next we have one of our returning Pokemon from the Kanto days, Dratini, our Serious level 23, Dratini, of course. Shed Skin ability, curing status conditions, maybe, at the end of every turn. Moves our Dragon Rage, Ice Beam, Iron Tail, Thunder Wave, and finally, we've got our Mild Totodile Snapper at level 23, all the way back from New Bark Town in Johto. Moves, or sorry, the ability is Torrent, and the moves, you need four experience points. Dude, you're so close. Moves our Water Gun, Ice Beam, Dragon Claw, and Dig. <clears throat> Excuse me, Dig. Let's get back to the lag of the lab, and I believe, now that we have the ID card, because I did come up here, last you saw, of course, I was down here in this other room, dealt with a couple scientists, well, I only battled one, the other one doesn't battle, but I can't go back down, because it only opens from the other side, but, when I came through here, I believe we go over this way, there's an elevator that requires the ID card, and I think this takes us down to where we fought Ayn in the last game, let's see, is this right? Or is this the way that I did go? Hang on. No, I think... Okay, we did come this way before. And that's where we fought somebody. Alright, so I'm going to go back up. So it's to the left that you need the ID card, I guess. Yeah, we've been here. Alright, bear with me. One of the trainers in the earlier episode, last time, I think yesterday, said, Are you lost, little boy? And yeah, kind of I am. Admittedly. But this episode is coming up a little bit later in the day, as you're probably noticing. I just didn't have enough time in the day to get everything recorded, the uh, news update, which did go up, and get this on in a timely manner uploaded. But at least we still have it. We still have our three episodes thus far for the week. Got another episode coming tomorrow, one on Friday. I'm aiming to have another Pokemon TCG online video for Friday as well. i got to assemble a deck, first of all. And I also have a couple of live streams planned for both Saturday and Sunday. Now, Saturday's going to be a fun day for me. Use the ID card. Excellent. Now we're moving. Saturday is, first of all, our pre-release for Pokemon TCG Crimson Invasion of the Sun and Moon series at Heroes Beacon. I'll be doing my recording there, checking out all the new cards, getting myself one of the uh, pre-release packs, and show you some of the cool cards there. I'm going to have some code cards available for you folks as well, as I always do. And I'm going to try to do two videos, one of just myself opening up the cards, another one of my, uh, not my, you know, but the players doing some possible, you know, pack openings and pack battles, because they've been asking if they can do that on the camera. I'll be opening mine in my own part of the video, but they will be doing sort of, uh, you know, openings against one another. But anyway, that is for Saturday's recording. I might upload it Sunday if I have the time to edit it. But anyway, you understand, don't you? It's wrong to turn ordinary Pokemon into shadow Pokemon against their will. 
Please, won't you help us stop the Shadow Pokemon plan? Join us and help us save Pokemon. Professor Crane, I understand what you're trying to say, but I can't help you. Uh -huh. Whoa, you! Aren't you that kid I saw at the Pokemon HQ lab that time? That's me. Chaz, is it really you, Chaz? I made it all this way. Are you trying to tell me that you came here by your lonesome to rescue Professor Crane? And I beat up all your friends, too. They weren't much of a challenge. It's too bad. I'm still a member of Cypher. I can't very well let you folks go now, can I? You, yeah, you could blink slowly for about a minute. We could just walk away. As for you, you snagged my Teddy Ursa from me that time. How do you remember? I'll give you this. You've got guts to come here alone, but I'll fix you so good, or good, so you'll never get out again. Let's go, Naps. Take a nap, buddy. That wasn't very threatening, but do it anyway. Murkrow Rhyhorn! We've got a metal claw for you, my friend. So, I did have to go. I think I mentioned in the news update that I had a doctor's appointment, and as I said, I ain't dying. I don't think, but I did go out early and did some Pokemon going. Uh, hmm. Let's go with a Poison Fang. And let's try that Metal Claw I've been oh so boasting about onto the right. Pursuit? Really? Who are you trying to pursue? Oh, my normal type. That makes sense. So, if we switch out, Pursuit's gonna hurt. Hmm. Anyways, I did a bunch of Pokemon going early in the day. I probably should start going a lot earlier because I had six gyms claimed in Go this morning. Uh, I got a few before my doctor's appointment. I got a few afterwards as well. You didn't get the poison. Anyways, I got some coins coming my way. And I did two raid battles as well, too. I took on a, uh, a Weezing. My nephew happened to be there as well, so we teamed up against the Weezing. And I took on an Executor. Someone else randomly showed up for that one, too. So I got myself one rare candy out of both of those. I just realized now that was all I got. I'm going to try biting the Rhyhorn, and... Uh, it's risky to leave Cindy in, but if the Pursuit... I don't know. Pursuit did... How much? 18, it looks like. Double that is 36. I think we got to stay in. I'm going to go return on the Murkrow. Pack. This is going to hurt because of our defense going down. Both of these Pokemon are one knock it away from being gone. Good. <sighs> and we're not faster than the Murkrow. Can we flinch the Rhyhorn? Come on, flinch it. Tail whip. All right. I gotta switch out. If they have Pursuit, we're about to lose our Teddy Ursa before her evolution. Now, does Poison Fang get the knockout on Murkrow? I'm gonna go for it, because we know we're faster than Rhyhorn. Cindy, let's go back, let's go into... No one resists Pursuit. We're gonna go with Mead. Do we get Escape Scott free? Yes, we do! Alright. No Pursuit to worry about. Peck could be coming our way. Super effective, but at least our defense is not lowered yet. It is on our Poochiena, though. That ain't good. Come on, take this thing down before you fall, at least. Give us that. Murkrow, down. Can you level up, please? Get some more defense, maybe. No, nope, not yet. I gotta get you out of there next. Okay, slack off. That's not too much to worry about. It's gonna have the truant ability. We get hitting. Our first permanent injury knockout of the plate. So I came in slack off. Let's let Snapper go in here. We're gonna use the water guy, we're gonna take this thing down as retribution. We're also gonna level up our Totodile. So, goodbye, Rhinehorn. And as for Mead, I'll go side beam to the slack off. Sorry, Whoopi. But, at least, there's plenty more Pokemon in the PC to replace. Not replace, but. You can never replace a Pokemon tree. You can. Magikarp is easily replaceable. But still, you don't want to make it sound like just a replacement. Anyways, fill the shoes up, maybe. Let's use that turn. Snapper levels up to 24. Beldum comes in. 
You just have takedown unless you use TMs on this thing. I don't think you did. You're gonna scratch, you're gonna do nothing. Moderately nothing. Alright, so Beldum should not have levitate. We're gonna go for dig on that as we go with another side beam to the slack off, which did decent damage the first time. So I've been doing the thing in Pokemon Go, putting Pokemon in the gyms that I need candy for, and I've been feeding. The I don't want to just feed my own Pokemon. I, I feel too selfish doing that. So I feed, like my general idea is to feed five berries, you know, generally. I would feed, uh, well, basically, okay, if there's six Pokemon in the gym, I'll feed all six Pokemon. If there are less than six, I'll try to feed them sort of equally, but I'll give priority to the Pokemon that you can for. So, for example, if I put uh, my Steelix, because I need more Onyx candy, if I put him in a gym, and there's already, say, a Croconaut in that gym as well, I'll feed each of them two, and feed another one an extra berry, unless there's more than three. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, I don't want to feed just my guys. I'm going to feed everyone, but prioritize feeding the ones that you can for. And I could also add, you know, feed more berries if I really want to as well. So I think Water Gun and... Aerial Ace get the knockout. We're just gonna go with that. I know you're at low HP need, but you got this. That does nothing. But of course, Water Gun coming in is gonna finish this off. <sighs> but yeah, so I fed Pokemon all over the city today. When I say all over the city, I mean in one small section. But no one gave me any candies. So, I mean, I guess you can't expect candy all the time. I would like it, though. Naps, you took one Pokemon away from me. You're a punk, good. What he said to me, but switched around. No, you're not evolving, Snapper. You stay as a Totodile. You get back down. That's right. Sorry if everyone's expecting a Croconaw just now, because I did mention Croconaw earlier, but Snapper stays as Totodile. He does not evolve. He's one of my favorite Pokemon as he is, so... There you go. Professor Crane, you folks don't have the foggiest notion about how big and scary Cypher is. It's not smart to resist. You can go on about the poor abused Pokemon and all, especially that uh, Poochiena I just destroyed, but you should think about your own selves. That's my advice. See ya! And Naps escapes. To, de to destroy him another day. Chaz, did you really come here by yourself? That's amazing! Talk walking? But it's dangerous here. We better get out right away. My worst fears turned out to be true about Cypher. They weren't wiped out. This is just one of their bases. Oh boy. But the details can wait. Things can get complicated if they return. Let's get out of here quick, as fast as we possibly can. Crane joins the party. Let's make no waste. Let's not waste any time. Oh, item. What do we get? We've got a leaf stone. Can't use it. All right, let's do some Pokemon switching around because poor Whoopi won't be cheering Whoopi anymore. Let us switch meat up here, and I want to put Whoopi towards the bottom. And Cindy picked up another item. What do you got there, girl? Great ball. That's money. All right, let's go to our potion because we did heal up, or not heal up, but we did store up nicely. I'm gonna say both of them can use a super potion. Eh. Let's just use up the potions we have. Yeah, each of them can take two, and then we'll be good to go. Isn't it nice in the new generation when you choose potion, you can use as many as you want and not go back to the item selection screen? Alright, so the scary part is about to happen, because if I recall correctly, we do not get out of here scot-free. There is something that is going to happen. Alright, but let's do the best we can to get out here without anyone spotting us, because if we can escape without the battle I know is going to happen, I'd be happy. You guys expect what's gonna happen? I'll give you a hint. We have seen a certain character before in that exact room, and we don't know where they went to. But we're about to find out as we head off towards the exit. Let's go, Professor Crane. Don't slow me down. Oh man, you're taking forever. We're not gonna make it. Just one sec, I hear my doorbell ringing. I'll be right back. Sorry for that momentary distraction, but let's continue and I assume that gave them enough time to head us off at the pass. Yep, can't go any further. What's happening here? Someone using that elevator? Who's this guy? Uh-oh. Who's that behind him? Look at this guy all slowly striding out. Oh, it's Tekkit! Oh, hey! You sneaked out, Crane? No, you sneaked Crane out? There we go. Lorena, this child here, he's the intruder. 
Is that the voice I gave you, Tekkit? Or Takat? I don't even know. Okay. Here we go. This is gonna get interesting. I should have grinded. I didn't. But that makes things more fun, doesn't it? No. Kinda. More exciting. Oh, wait, wait! I have so not heard anyone about... About anyone leaving anywhere! I don't think I can hit that voice again I had last time. Professor Crane is so going to be very busy. Oh, so very busy. So please be a nice boy and don't disturb us. Oh, I'm plenty disturbed. We're going back to the HQ lab. Stand aside, please. You tell her. Going back? Seriously? You are so joking. This so happens to be where you work from now on. After all, we so need you to keep working on your studies. You so are the key to our plan. So what? Stop saying so. XD001, the ultimate shadow Pokemon that can never be purified. Never? Stop that nonsense. Do you seriously think that I would help you do something that horrible? He's a good guy, man. You know, back down. Oh, that naps. He so must have made a boo-boo again. I so have to punish him lots. What do you say? Little boy, maybe you can convince Professor Crane. You should so tell him to study our XD001. You see, our plan is to make shadow Pokemon that can never, ever be purified. That's horrible, as he just said. XD001 is only our first prototype. So, when we work out the problems, we can make combat units with XD series Pokemon. Wouldn't that be just peachy? But we so need the professor's cooperation for our plan, so please, sweetie, can you ask him to please nicely help, blah, 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 blah? I don't even know what you just said. Couldn't even read it. No. I ain't doing that. Oh, how nasty! You silly boy! You so won't help me with XD001 either! Oh, you'll be sorry now, but you will so understand. A little hurt is so persuasive. No need to persuade me, because I ain't going to give in. We got Lavrina. Oh, you're so happy. I'm not. I remember you're kind of challenging. What are your levels looking like? I can't even see those levels. They're so high above me. It's like question marks, like in Pokemon Go. I don't know what your CP is. Go me, go Cindy. Cindy, be careful. One knockout left before you're gone, too. Yep, level 20, level 19. Okay. Uh, let's think strategically. Should I go for the confusion? Is it really even going to help us? I'm going to aerial ace the Beautifly, and I'm going to start off with a lick attack to love disc. Try to paralyze this thing. Water gun. Hit my defensive one. Yes. Go for the special defensive one. I love that. Juan Mead, aerial ace. Do half. I doubt it. I doubted it. I shouldn't have doubted it. And you are faster than Beautifly. That's super effective, but it can't have a good attack stat. Plus, they miss. They want to go to Pokemon. And it's a critical. Come on, paralyze. You got this, Cindy. Paralyze this love disc. It's the quickest. We want to make it the slowest. No damage, but that's expected. No paralysis. All right, but we know that the Aerial Ace will take Beautifly down before it can critical gust again. We're going to chance for another Lick Attack. Hit my Ledian. I'm going to switch her out in a moment, but can we get that paralysis before she has to get pulled back? Aerial Ace. Down goes no. Hmm. See, I was expecting that was going to do the trick. But you're not going to go to critical. That was close. Come on, Paralyze Cindy. Leave your parting shot on this battlefield. Yes. Alright, but she's at 1 HP. i got to pull her back. We're going to go for the Aerial Ace to take Beautifly down. And we're going to say Gullet comes in next. Equal level, I believe, with that Love Disc. Come on back, Cindy. No pursuit to worry about it, I don't think. If you don't see it. Gullet comes in. Beautifly is going to fall. Love Disc might still get an attack off, but the Paralysis could pull through and lock it down for one turn. First one down. Level up for Mead. Can we learn a Bug Move, perhaps? Nope. No other level up. Okay. Next is Roselia. That could also be Aerial Ace, actually. Full Paralysis. Nice. All right, Aerial Ace the Roselia. Now, it could have Poison Point, which would be kind of worrisome. We're going to go for a Shockwave to love this. We know that Gullet's special attack is better than physical, plus this will be super effective. I'm going to say one more aer Aerial Ace drops this Roselia. No Poison Point, but Poison Sting comes in. Go for Gullet. Critical. What's with all your criticals? That ain't kind of fair. Shockwave, do half. Yes, alright, one more brings you down. Are you fully paralyzed? 
Nope. Water Gun's not going to hurt too much, though. I don't think no, Not even. So these two Pokemon will drop to our next combo of attacks, leaving just one Pokemon remaining. Kind of happy about that, because the last Pokemon, spoilers, is a Shadow Pokemon. No Poison Point. Leave us in a good position here. I got Refresh, I believe, if need be. Gullet levels up to 21. Nice. Doesn't learn any move either. That's okay, though. Hello, Del Caddy. This is annoying. You'll see the moveset. I'm pretty sure it has a track. But it is a shadow Pokemon. we got to try to make the capture. Do you think Sing Attack will work this time around? That is the question. I'm going to go for the uh, Supersonic as well, try to confuse it. Just to be safe. If we can minimize the amount of turns it's hitting us, all the better for us. It's only level 18, so that's not that bad. Supersonic and Sing. We do connect that. I believe Delcaddy will be faster than our Gulpin as well. Not bad. Nice. This is working out pretty well. It's kind of concerning being down a Pokemon. Alright, let's go with... Psybeam could probably do the most damage. No effect. I hope that wasn't the most damage. I mean, this thing's gonna hurt itself pretty bad though, if it hits itself. Shadow Rush, that's different than Shadow Blitz. <sighs> it's okay, Mead had one more knockout, or has one more knockout, so that is okay, I guess. Dratini comes in next. If Sing fails, we can Thunder Wave this at least, though. Come on, Dratini, you got this, buddy. Sing does miss again. Gotta love that. All right, Thunder Wave, and we'll go with Sludge. Snaps out of Confusion, Shadow Rush. We can take it. Not super well, but we took it. So I believe Dratini will go first, paralyze this thing. Sludge should do a decent amount of damage. Hopefully no critical. Even a critical, I don't think we'll knock it out. Maybe not. We're going to find out, though, if we land critical. Or if we don't, we'll see how much damage this does anyways. A critical wouldn't have done it. Okay, so I believe a shockwave would be a nice little light tap as Dratini starts chucking the Pokeballs. We got some more Premier Balls as well, too, when I bought uh, 10 from the shop. Let's see if we can make the snag. So since we have lost Pokemon, if I can get back to a PC, I will show you who's currently in the collection. But you can also, blah, 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 also go back and see from like the previous video who we currently have Shadowified. And let me know which Pokemon should I add to the team if I don't have time to show you the uh, collection in this video. I might though. Ooh, painful. Okay, Dratini, you've done your job. We're going to get you out of here. So this is where the compli or complication, the uh, the difficulty comes into play. Because I'm going to try another Shockwave. Hopefully no critical hit. Because as I keep switching Pokemon out to keep them from getting fainted, I'm running out of options for who to send in, right? And I can't heal during the fight. So it is making things nerve-wracking. Now, as I say, though, I have a good number of... Uh, Injuries for each Pokemon. Now see, what do I do? Like, Gullet hasn't taken an injury yet. So I can leave Gullet in. Snappers, is there anything we can hit this thing with to uh, weaken it up? I don't think so. We're just going to throw a Pokeball with Snapper's turn. And Gullet, what can you do? Let's waste a turn with singing. Maybe the song will be so bad, Delcaddy's not going to want to come back out and listen to it. Preparation for Pokemon Go once Delcaddy appears in that. Not bad. Nerve wracking. But not bad at all. The capture is made. Lavrina is done. What on earth? How could you be strong? A lot of training. Again, I've said it many times. Three time League Champion. Do you not see my badges? I forgot to put the badges on. Never mind. Whatever. The ribbons, I guess they would be. Oh, I so hate to say this. Little boy, I can't beat you right now. Master Greevil will be so cross with me, but... But that's okay. I'll let you owe me this one time. But you have to promise you will think about my plan next time. 
If you see XD001, I'm sure you'll so want to help me. I'll so be waiting for you. Where are you going? Get back here. Or don't. I don't care. L L Lavrina! It's an elevator for one, isn't it? Actually, it can't because I'm taking Crane up with us. Oh, they dropped a sparkly. Let's grab a sparkly. What do you think, Crane? Was that amazing? I only lost one Pokemon. Chaz, you have grown tough, haven't you? In fact, I'm amazed at how much stronger you've grown in this short of time. I guess we'll be relying on you even more from now on, Chaz. Now that we know Cypher is back, we need to move quickly. We have to come up with ways of stopping them. This time, let's really head back to the HQ lab. Sounds good to me. Oh, the elevator's back. I got the data wrong. I guess I have to get someone to decipher that, because I can't figure that thing out. Let's go, Crane. Here, may I see that? Alright then, take it. Here you go, what do you think? Hmm, this may be something important. We'll take it back and analyze it. I wonder what happened if I didn't try to pick that up. He probably would have been like, you know, We can't leave yet, there's a sparkle on the ground. You gotta grab every sparkle in these Colosseum and XD games. Like, it was my PDA the first time I saw a sparkle. If I didn't pick that up, well, the game just wouldn't have continued. Alright, so we can't get back to the PC here. I'll show you... Oh, Okay, just going right back to the lab. That works too! Thanks to you, Chaz, I was able to return safe and sound. Sincerely, thank you. Though it was a horrible ordeal, I learned a few things when I was in that desert lab. First and foremost, Cypher hasn't disappeared. The fact that they're still around is alarming. Worse, they are making more Shadow Pokémon again. And worst of all, they are trying to make or create the ultimate Shadow Pokémon, one that is impossible to purify. Cypher must be plotting world domination using Shadow Pokémon as their weapons again. To counter Cypher's new Shadow Pokémon conspiracy... Director! Lily! We did it! The Purify Chamber is finally completed! Alright, this is where things get kind of interesting. Oh my! Oh, what a fan- what fantastic timing! It's finally finished! Lily, thank you! Thank you for pulling everyone together so capably in my absence. Alright, let's not waste any more time. Let's go have a look at the Purify Chamber. Let's! I think I'm getting my mom's voice right. Am I getting sick? Hopefully not. Alright, but before we do that, we'll save that for the next episode. Where is the PC? It's in here, isn't it? Well, let's talk to these folks. Wait, okay, I was gonna slip by, but I guess not. Take a good look, Chaz. This is the Purify Chamber. Chaz, your father and I designed it five years ago when we were motivated by the Shadow Incident. Shadow Incident. If evildoers were to create Shadow Pokémon again, we wanted to be able to save them ourselves. Chaz, your father believed that passionately. To honor your father's wish, I put together our Pokemon HQ lab. Chaz, if your father were here, I'm sure that he would be delighted. While I was gone, everyone seems to have rallied around Lily and made things happen. Okay, Chaz, we'll have to have you lead the way. The glorious history of the Purified Chamber will begin with you. But first, if you'll be so kind as to briefly explain how the Purified Chamber works. Certainly. Okay, Chaz, listen closely. The Purify Chamber is a facility in which Shadow Pokémon undergo purification through contact with regular Pokémon. Purification is conducted on what we call a set. This is where a Shadow Pokémon comes into contact with regular Pokémon. In the center of a set, one Shadow Pokémon is placed. Up to four regular Pokémon can be placed around the Shadow Pokémon. We have nine of those sets here. That means we can effectively purify up to nine Shadow Pokémon at the same time. There is one thing you need to be careful about. Purification won't proceed if you place only a single Shadow Pokémon on a set. Purification can only happen if there is at least one regular Pokemon on a set with a Shadow Pokemon. The number of regular Pokemon placed with a Shadow Pokemon and their compatibility are key points. First, the number of regular Pokemon. The more regular Pokemon you place with a Shadow Pokemon, the quicker purification is. Next, the compatibility of Pokemon. Compatibility depends on the types of the Pokemon involved and the directions they face. By adjusting these factors, you'll likely see differences in purification speeds. If you need details, I'll be happy to explain later. But right now, I'd like you to check out the sets... I'd like to check out the... Do it! The Purify Chamber status is on standby. System status is good to go. Step onto that circular plate. A holographic image of the Pokémon involved in purification will appear. Well, it would appear there... It would appear... It would. I can't see... Where did I see the word appear? If there were actually some Pokémon on the sets. When you're checking the hologram, you can zoom to individual sets. At any selected set, you can, fig you can configure things as you see fit. There's a lot of talk here. A control panel will appear for you to pick the Pokémon you want to place on the selected set, position them, and so on. It brings Pokemon Chaz, you can place them on sets. Don't worry, we'll figure it out when you actually try it. We'll also be around to provide some advice if you need it. First check the hologram, please. We're saving that for the next episode. I'm going up here. Alright, so... To end off the episode, we're going to go over to box number 8. Can I name you? I can. 
We're going to name you the unfortunate name of... Where's the I? There's the I. The Injury. Where is the J? There's the J. And see, if I could go left and right from the side, that'd be great. But J's on one side, U's on the other, whatever. Injury is okay. Our first injury happens to be our Poochiena Whoopee. Didn't have a chance to evolve. In fact, I gotta mark you too, technically. I gotta mark our Ledian as well. So, we got three injuries on Mead. Now then, take a look at the Pokemon here. We got Mareep, Baltoy, uh, Seedot, Houndour, Spinarak, Nummel, Carvana, Shroomish, and that new Delcaddy. Which Pokemon should I add to the team right now to replace our fallen Dark type? We have a Dark type here. We have something that can evolve into a Dark type. Actually, we have the Leaf Stone as well, so we can get Seed Out all the way to Shift Tree eventually. But whatever. You... Actually, we've got two Dark types already sitting here. We got Carvana as well. Which Pokemon should I add to the team? Leave a comment down below, and whoever, whichever Pokemon gets the most comments, I will add that to the team, and we'll start working on purifying it through battle, or maybe the Purify Chamber, because that's about all we're gonna do for this episode. It is a little bit over time. Next one might be a little bit shorter, but that's fine. We are going to... Are we healed up, actually, is a good question. Yes. All right, so our current team is right here. Which Pokemon should we add to our team from that selection collection in the PC? Let me know down below. But that is the end of today's episode. I want to say thanks for watching. If you missed any episodes, of course, thus far, there's a link in the description for the entire playlist. And for some more videos from Professor Chaz, check the outro. There'll be some links to some more videos, as well as a little link to subscribe to the channel for more daily Pokemon content. So stay tuned for that. But until the next time, I am now signing off, and I kind of messed up the outro. I'll catch you next time. I talk too much.